Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here with the Automation Minute. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the Ethernet module for a control logic system, specifically the 1756 EMBT. Now, if we take a look at it, we can see that on the front of the module, we have that same, uh, well, first we have Ethernet IP. It doesn't really tell us which Ethernet card it is, but at least it tells us something. And then we have that display that'll tell us if we have, you know, what address we're set at. Uh, are we in boot P mode? If we are, what our MAC address is. Tell us if we have an IP address uh, conflict on the network and just all kinds of other great information. We also have a link, a net, and OK LEDs. Now, in this particular model, there's no uh, door to open. The Ethernet port is uh, located on the bottom. You can see it right here. And um, we can take a look here on the side. We'll take a look at the, the uh, label. We can see it's a 1756 EMBT. This is a Series A. We can see our barcode number. We can see the firmware it came from the factory at. We can also see it's a 10100 module. We can see when it was manufactured. And we can see some other stuff as well. If we look at the other side, there's nothing. And if we look at the top and the bottom, there's no switches. Because this unit is set via, you can set it up via boot P, which I'll show uh, in my, uh, you know, in a previous video, I actually showed you how to do that with um, the Compact Logics. Um, and, um, you can also set it by going through the processor and through the backplane, or really go through any other module and through the backplane. Um, you can set up its Ethernet address that way. So, uh, and that's it. That's the 1756 EMBT. It's great for communications. It's also great for controlling Ethernet I.O. The previous model to this, the original Ethernet card, the ENET, was not designed to control I.O. It was originally designed to control just, uh, to do just communications. 